we're going to do two different cases of induction, induction with metal spheres. Okay? The first one we're going to start out with is one sphere and a negative object. Okay? So right now, what is the charge on the sphere? Sphere is neutral, the charge on the negative object is? Hey, how about that? Charge on the negative object is negative. By the way, this is the same exact thing that happens with electrophorus. Just now, I'm going to move this instead of moving electrophorus. So, I bring this close. What's the charge on the sphere? It's still neutral, but polarized. I have a big negative here. The negatives on the sphere want to get as far away as possible, so they run to the other side. What? I, I get this. I think. Maybe. If it doesn't work, it didn't work earlier today. And I didn't know why, so we just recharged it. Did it. So, the sphere is uh, neutral but polarized. The electrons are trying to get as far away from this as they can, so. Did I shock it or did it shock me? It shocked you. Okay. It shocked me. The electrons went from the sphere onto me. I take this away now. It was neutral. Electrons ran away. It's now positive. So general idea with induction. A lot of the time, I'll say a lot of the time because we do have another circumstance that we're going to talk about. The object that you're inducing the charge on will be different than the charged object. So right now, this is positive, it's now neutral. Okay? Now, one thing I don't want people thinking about. I bring this close. Where do the electrons go? Over to that other side. So my question is now going to be, what if I touch it on this side? electrons over here? Does it? Yeah, let's go and get some, okay? If I touch it over here, is there anything stopping them from running over to here? As a whole, this object is like, whoa, 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 this thing's too close. Pardon me. If the electrons want to get off, we should say, but you're, you're on the right, right track. If the electrons want to get off of here, yeah, granted, it would be nice if they can get off on the far side, but if they can leave it here, it's just, it's just as good as leaving it here because this overall is a conductor. So if I bring this close, guess what? The electrons still, yes, they originated, they originally wanted to go as far away as possible. The oldest far away as possible was this side. <coughs> What I gave them an opportunity to do is get another far away as possible, which is to me. One way or another, the electrons that were on this side want to get as far away as they can. So if I touch it here, yeah, they're going to jump to me. If I touch it here, I'm still farther than on the sphere. So it's not so much a matter of where I touch it, it's just the fact I am touching it. Okay. So once again, oh, this is hard. Some of these are pretty good shocks. Okay. So all good. Yeah. All good. Okay. So the diagram us. So this is one ball. Um, I believe this one is four pictures, four five pictures on this one. The next one's gonna be like three pictures. So let's get them all in there. Starts out. There's the sphere. Okay. The sphere. I'm just gonna use n. That means neutral. Okay. The sphere is neutral. 
next thing that happens, I bring the negative whatever it is, rod or big board or any negative object, close, and it's negative. So the sphere, all my positives are all going to be there, but the negatives are going to run away. It's still net neutral, but they run away a little bit. And this is polarized. So once it's polarized, the next step, if the negative thing is still there, There's the ball, and in comes, no, it's not a foot. Okay. In comes the finger, okay? Well, the electrons that were trying to get as far away, well, they get far away. Now, they probably won't all leave, but most of them will leave they go down to the ground. I now bring the rod away and I have a positive sphere. So I took a neutral object, I charged it using another object, a charged object, but I did not touch them together. No charges were transferred from the charged object to the neutral object. Then if we just want to add in, at the very end, I'll bring my foot back in. Thank you, Kate. Wait, the last part isn't charging by induction, that's right? just charging by touching, right? Right here? No, the last. last. That? No, the last one. Right oh, last one, yeah, that's grounding that. Yeah. So, So Kirby, I think, is alluding to the exact point I was just going to make. If I ask you to diagram charging by induction, you better start with an object that's not charged and end with an object that is charged. So really, this, don't include it in a charging by induction picture, because what you're telling me is you know how to make a neutral object back to being neutral. And I go, hey, good job. Okay. What I want to see is, you know that charging by induction is one, two, three, four steps.